Hello, welcome to the Savannah Freedom Museum. My name is Maxime and today I'll be talking about the Dogon doors in our collection close-up. So the Dogon are a people of Western Africa. They are a culture that has centered itself on the Bandiagara Cliffs, which is a region in Mali. And for generations, they have been living um, progressively lower and lower along the cliffside. Um, in their own history, they settled the cliffsides for the safety and security, uh, mainly due to a lot of the neighboring people, such as the Mosi and the Bambara, who were not just raiders, but also, but also fluent with cavalry. And so for that reason, the cliff sides were especially safe for them. They are a very particular culture uh, in terms of West Africa, not because of the many mysteries that surround them, but also because of the way they're structured. As opposed to many African uh, cultures or cultures in general, um, instead of having the typical hierarchy of a king, or an emperor or any other such entity, their, their societies are organized around a village elder. And this, of course, has many implications in Africa in general when it comes to, um, or the world in general, cultures in general, when it comes to respect for um, one's elders. But in their case, it is um, especially interesting and specific to their culture and the way it works because of that elder's role, not just as uh, the leading figure, but also because of his spiritual role among, in the community. Um, he would have been the person that is um, called upon to pray for rain or other such necessities because the region in which they live is an extremely difficult, uh, an extremely difficult one. They live in the Sahel, which is the region just south of the Sahara. So imagine um, a desert-like landscape with just a bit more greenery. If anything, just enough greenery. And so that leads us into the doors and why they were sculpted. The, these doors are granary doors. Granaries um, are places to store grains or other such food items. And this is especially important to the Dogon because again of their very um, strict climate. For that reason, um, the doors themselves capture a lot of the qualities of their culture. A lot of the doors are decorated with uh, reliefs of their, um, of their mythology or their cosmology. And um, what, um, a lot of these elements come together, and I'll break them down piece by piece, that way you can get a full image of the Dogon people just by looking at the doors. So I'll start with the material. The material is wood. And what this implies, again, is that uh, what this reflects, really, is, again, the scarcity with which they are accustomed to. The, wood, the, the doors themselves are usually constructed out of more than just one piece of wood. And the reason for that is the literal width at which trees are able to grow in this area. And also the limited amount that you want to cut these trees, again, because of these restrictions. So for that reason, again, the doors are typically made out of multiple panels of wood and then pegged together to make one cohesive joint. You'll also notice that the, the door's hinges, well not the hinges, but rather the pegs that keep them together are made out of iron. And this has to do also with the fact that sculptors in the Dogon culture are typically also metalsmiths. And so these people are also regarded as um, spiritually fluent, let's just say, but also re highly regarded amongst their community because of this um, very specialized role they serve for their culture. So moving on from the material itself of wood, we also have um, 
again, the relief and how that plays a further part in another importance of the door. And the simplest way to look at it is why would they want to carve these spiritual elements over these doors? And that is the simple idea of protection, but also of storytelling. First, protection. Protection in the sense that not only is the door um, secure the granary, one of the most important areas for this whole community, but also the fact that um, in terms of protection, the doors are, the granaries are one of the rare things to receive doors. So that again shows the importance for obvious reasons of a granary and why this would be placed there and charged with um, spiritual concepts. Uh, for example, on this door you have um, one entity that serves as the door lock, so almost a sort of visual reinforcement, not only just the very physical one, which is again the door lock. Um, from there, moving on, other things that uh, are very interesting about the doors and their, their purpose is um, also how you can see this, this, um, this culture flow into other, other areas in West Africa. You have, for example, an uh, interesting connection, not a direct one, but uh, of the same practice of using um, relief as a form of storytelling, such as in Benin. And to reel it all the way back in and back to the culture itself, and how this um, really shows how special the Dogon are in this area, is um, all of these ideas, and um, even just the principles behind it, for example, the wood, the scarcity that it involves, the fact that it is used to um, protect the food, goes again to show how the society is structured, where the most valuable items and the most specialized skills go into the protection of something that is shared by the whole community. And again, this goes back again to the way that their society is structured because of um, the very circular um, society. Instead of having, let's say, a pyramid where there is the authority at the top and everything goes down from him, the society is on an equal plane where everyone has the same priorities and the person, let's say, in charge is just in charge to secure those priorities for everyone. So again, uh, to that example I gave earlier, which is an excellent contrast, where you have Benin, where the bronze plaques were meant to tell the story of the kings and his dynasty and were reserved for himself. Whereas you have these that tell the story of the community and can be seen by everyone and protect the food that belongs to everyone. So with those ideas, I'd like to conclude. Thanks again for joining us for this collection close-up. Follow us on YouTube, like us on Facebook and any other social media.